Yes, hi, this is David once again, and in this video we're going to be looking at all of these settings down here. Okay, the first one is the account amount, and this has a lot to do with the trade risk if you enter it as a percentage. For example, up there I've got 1%, but 1% of exactly what? Well, if you enter a B down here in this field, uh, the risk on the trade is 1% of the balance figure down here. If you enter an E, it's 1% of the equity, and if you enter an F, it's 1% of the free margin. Alternatively, you can enter a number in the field, like 10,000. So that means now that the trade risk is 1% of $10,000. That might be useful if you're running some managed fund, for example, or you want to look at a hypothetical situation. Um, you can also type in something like E plus 10,000 if you want to simulate the idea that the balance is not just the equity of this account, but you've also got $10,000 uh, in other trading accounts and you want the 1% to represent 1% of the total amount. Okay, play sounds. Well, very simply, uh, this, if you switch that off, then you're running run it in quiet mode where you won't hear the click when you drag a script onto the chart, the familiar pop sound when you click the execute button up here, or the squeak sound when you click the cancel button. So that allows you to toggle the sounds on and off. Okay, adds a stop loss and take profit via a separate order. Um, this has a lot to do with ECN brokers and market orders. Now if we go to MetaTrader and we click on new order here, if you see the stop loss and the take profit fields grayed out, that means that the broker won't allow you to uh, create a market order with those values already there. Therefore, they've got to be entered as a separate order. So in that case, you must have this box here checked on. Otherwise, you'll get an error. Uh, if those fields are not grayed out in MetaTrader, then it doesn't really matter whether you've got the box checked on or off, but off is possibly slightly more efficient. Execution attempts. Okay, when you click the execute button up here, that's the number of attempts that VO Pro will uh, cause MT4 to attempt with a wait time of this number of seconds between each attempt. Um, generally, it's oh, fine to set this to 1, which is, of course, the default setting. But if you find that you're getting a lot of requotes, um, then you might like to experiment and, and increase this number. Down here we've got the MT4 trade settings. Okay, a magic number. This is basically a reference number that's used for subsequently selecting trades or groups of trades. You can type in any number you wish into this field and it will show up in the orders window in this column down here. This field here is the increment field um, and it's for advanced use. What happens is, for example, if I type in, let's say, 1001 here with an increment of 1, and then I go up to the trade risk here and say I want to risk 1% over three trades, split evenly 1, 1, 1, then what will happen is the first one of these trades will have a magic number of 1001. The second one will be 1001 plus the increment, so it'll be a 1002, and the third one will be 1003. The trade comment field offers uh, an alternative way of identifying trades and referencing them. And it appears both in the orders list up here and also down here in the trading terminal provided you've got comments there checked on. One other point is that it's often uh, modified automatically by MT4 itself. Okay, the expiry date and time, this refers to pending orders. If you click on the wizard here, you can bring up this calendar to, to set the date. You can page forward by one month or by a year or go back a month or back a year. Or you can move to the current month by clicking on today. Then you can either select a date simply by clicking on it, in which case the value gets pasted back into the field here, or you can click the cancel button to leave the value in the field unchanged. You must enter the time in the form of two characters for the hour, followed by a colon, followed by two digits for the minutes. Alternatively, you can set the expiry time 
by simply typing in a, a value into this increment field here. So for example, if I want a pending order to expire in say two hours time, I can simply put a two. Or if, if I want a two and a half hours time, I can put two colon 30 for two hours and 30 minutes. If you don't want your pending order to expire automatically, simply leave both these fields blank. But if you are going to enter values in these fields, it's very important that you get the format exactly right. The slippage field here applies generally to the old style market maker types of brokers, but we've included it for compatibility. It's basically the number of pips that your requested price may differ from any broker requote, and the order will not be accepted if the difference exceeds the value in pips that you type into this field. If in doubt, simply leave the value there at the default 99. The arrow colour here, that will display a little arrow in line graphics between the order's entry and exit points on your chart. As usual, you can either choose a colour from the MT4 palette by clicking on the drop down here, or you can go to the Windows colour selection facility here by using the wizard. Leave this field blank if you don't want any arrows to appear on your chart. Just one point, the magic number and trade comment fields apply to the create facilities only because MetaTrader only allows those to be set up via its create facility. While the expiry date time, the slippage and the arrow color can be applied to both the create and the modify functions. Right, one final f uh, thing, this button down here, Restore Factory Settings, click that and everything on this whole screen gets set back to uh, the default settings that were there when you first installed VO Pro. Okay, that concludes this video. Thanks very much for watching. For more information about VO Pro, please visit the webpage shown here. Thank you.